What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you in here? Well, that can't be good. <laughs> Part two, double personality. So that's kind of interesting. We have a cat hat on. Uh, what's this? A hat? Mr. Midnight. Oh no, your head, kitty. Wait a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love Clara and Mia. I guess they thought I was a cat. Okay. Whoa, that is a giant, giant cauldron that we just picked up. Close that window. Maybe you can put that on the stove, maybe? No. Whoa! Honey bear, you taste fantastic! Oh, that's an interesting way to go. Sharp knife? Sure, why not? Baking soda? I want the honey, though. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Why am I here? You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? What? I'm not sure if I can climb this. Oh, I can. Oh, what's over here? Secret bottle with a secret. Oh, maybe we can go this way. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Hmm. Okay, let's move on here then. I got myself some matches. We got the meat on the wall here. Gonna fill up the cauldron, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's full. Hmm. Let's grab some more stuff. Ooh, pepper. I assume that's what the P means. Salt and pepper. Some beans. That is a seed or something. Well, let's go back out here then. No, we've never been on this side before. What's with the girls? Their faces look familiar, but I'm not sure. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Whoa, that was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose, though. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. I'd like to have a cup of tea and some crumpets and some muffins and some cake and some other cake. Maybe just a little bit. I, I agree. Oh, we just grabbed something. I wonder if I can use this on the fire. No. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. Really? Okay. Hmm. Um. 
Oh, what are these? A flower vase with ashes inside. Look at the length of that broom. That is a massive looking broom here. A monster who likes goats. The sisters, they look alike. The jar's open. Let me see what's inside. Ooh, dark candles. What's this lever here? Whoa, jeez. <laughs> that startled me. Hello? What is going on over here? What are these? I've got such the serious case of the chills here. Who would sew babies together? Oh my gosh, shut those babies up. Meow? Oh, it's you, my goodness, my beloved friend. I found you. Friend, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see, let me see. Come closer, let me see. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy. You think that's the real Mr. Midnight? I don't know. I miss you so very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up on me. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear friend, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear. I will open this cage. We need to get it to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Why, yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. Medicine Fran, it wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us to get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Presence? Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key and unlock you, alright? I love you. Oh, we found... our buddy. It is a pretty doll. Dead rat. What is this fox over here? Oh, poor foxy. Uh, okay. Put us in the bottom here. Let me see if this broom works. It's kind of weird. It threw us basically in the same place. Looks like it's definitely a deep well. Oh, yeah, of course. We did go in a well, didn't we? Let me go over here. Oh, would you look at that? Aren't we clever? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, hello there. Um... Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Friend Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but my mommy and my daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and then eat some cake. It will make you feel better. 
Thank you, but really, I need to know who told you all these things about me. Are you scared a little, Fran? A little? It's odd the way I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked what's your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. It's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I am not calm! I just wanted to introduce myself and not be a rude person! You want him back? He is my best friend. Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. Before we set him free, tell us all about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and the door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. And I saw the real Pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? Not sure. Not sure anymore. I think I'm 10. We are 16, much older than you, so you have to obey us. Just open the cage. Seriously. You haven't even asked our names. And you shouldn't wander around this house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Uh, hello, I am not stupid. And I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? You don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot, you asked for it. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. You are evil and poisoned, but I'll do whatever you say. Good! Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It is tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe, but be cautious and precious and precise otherwise terrible things can happen huh do it yourselves why can't you do it yourselves we can't do it it would kill us you see we weren't like this before we used to be two different people in two different bodies but how is it that you are like this now one night a long time ago somebody appeared in front of us we thought it was an angel but it was not he decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You have to wait until you come back. I understand. I'll be waiting here. And friend, did you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? Can you? You silly, silly girl. Ha 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 ha! That would be the cage key for friends, kitty cat. back upstairs because we didn't even actually go here. Yeah, this is kind of scary looking. Summon the old lost body. You will need a heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, <laughs> hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and a burnt body of a fox. Wow. These toys are so ugly. 
white candles everywhere. What's in here? Okay, so we're still we're they're gonna basically keep falling down there. Oh, and it kind of brings us here. That's kind of neat. is this thing? It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, thank you, but who is he? I don't know. Okay, so this still puts me at the very bottom here. Okay, let's get out of here. No. It's a frog! Rusty old bike in the middle of an island. Ah, maybe that would be better for us. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out there... I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. The toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That is terrible. What's, why is my kitty in here? They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Oh my goodness, I think I'll think of something else then. I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Creative? I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Whoa! Who's this girl? My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Huh. Well, we have a plank now, so we should go inside and maybe try to use that plank. Climbing, climbing, climbing. The broom clearly didn't work. A lot of stuff in my inventory now. Um, what am I supposed to do with this thing now? Oh, I have a knife though. Cut the rope. Yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna do this, it's probably quicker. You frog! Oh my lord, what? Ugh, that burned, but there is no fire. I can't touch the bottle, it really burns. I've got the paper, this is so exciting! Oh. Hmm. Revealing the true soul. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is more magic to destroy evil. Salt and pepper. A blue bloomed. Oh, I see. I've got. I've got this check. That's check. That's check. Interesting. Ouch! That's right, I used the knife on myself because I wanted the 
My own blood, my own pure blood. My sweet and red blood. My sweet and red blood. Lots and lots of blood. <laughs> Is that truly gonna actually... Ah, Moonlight Reflection! We now have our Moonlight Blue Rose. Heart of a frog. Hair from the person you wish to bewitch. 